Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Kerry Green. It is a great day. It doesn't matter what your weather is like. It doesn't matter what the economy is like. It doesn't matter what circumstances are in your life because the God of creation is your God if you've placed your faith in Jesus Christ. And he has transformed you. He is renewing you day by day into his image. What better news to know as you start the day? There's nothing that can separate you from his love today. Nothing that can stop you from being everything he wants you to be today. So join me in this Morning Mindset edition as we continue here looking at the life of Moses. Let's look at what happened in Moses' life and the actions people took that enabled Moses' story to follow the path that God had laid out for him. In the last episode, we talked about how Moses' parents and his sister boldly placed him into a context in which he could be saved from an evil edict that the Pharaoh of Egypt had given to kill all the newborn children, the newborn boys, in the nation of Israel. And they were successful. They successfully saved him by having him adopted into the family of Pharaoh himself, Pharaoh's daughter. It's an amazing thing. And what is more, they were paid for taking care of Moses while he was small and still being nursed. And then he was brought back to the house of Egypt and Pharaoh's daughter made him her son. And she is the one who named him Moses. And she said, because she, because she drew him out of the water. So that is a reference to a Hebrew word. There's a Hebrew word that sounds like the word Moses, and it means to draw out. So Moses had been drawn out of the water, but he also had been drawn out of danger by the faithful actions of his parents and his sister. And when Moses grew up, he went out and was looking at what was happening among the people of Israel. And I have to believe that growing up, at least his younger years, in his mother's care, he was told his true identity. He was told who he was and why he was living in the house of Pharaoh's daughter. And he went out and he saw his people, Israel. And he knew that they were being persecuted unjustly. He knew that their toil was something that should be his toil as well. And he saw that an Egyptian was beating a Hebrew, one of the slaves, and he looked to the right, to the left, and he didn't see anyone, and he killed the Egyptian, and he hid him in the sand. And when he went out the next day, he saw two of his own people, two Hebrews who were fighting with each other, and he said to the one who was in the wrong, why do you strike your companion? And the other man said, who made you a prince and judge over us? Do you mean to kill us like you killed the Egyptian? And Moses was afraid. And he thought, surely the thing I've done has become known. And then, sure enough, it was known, and Pharaoh heard of it, and he sought to kill Moses for killing an Egyptian. This is where we begin to see the insecurities and the lack of faith in this young man, Moses. Because Moses runs from Pharaoh, and he stays in a land outside of Egypt called Midian. We find that he He gets married there. He has children there. He grows into a man of 40 years old. And all the time, what might Moses have been feeling? That he was done, that God's plan for his life was over, that he just had to exist day to day in this life that he had wound up in because of his own mistakes. And tomorrow, We're going to get into Moses' story and start addressing some of the ways God uses our mistakes and our failings and our weaknesses and our insecurities. And I hope that's encouraging to you today. No matter what you're facing, God can use your mistakes and your insecurities and your failings and your weaknesses. And he wants to do it today. Join me again tomorrow as we continue looking into the story of Moses. Moses.